John fifteen two, pan klema in emoi me feran karpan aire auta, kai pan ta karpan feran kathire auta hena karpan pleana fere. Here Jesus says, every branch in me, not bearing fruit. He takes it away, right? There's the it, and this is to take away. In other words, he cuts it off. And the implied subject here is the Father. Every branch in the Lord Jesus which does not bear fruit, the Father cuts off. The Father cuts away. And Jesus says, every one bearing fruit, implied branch, right? So here we have the substantive use of the participle. Don't forget the participle, present participle. The endings are own Usa on, there's the genitive anta. So that on ending there, that is the neuter, uh, neuter nominative singular form of the participle. Here it's attributive, modifying the neuter clema. And here it is a substantive, the one bearing, implying the, the branch which bears. And there's the direct object there in the middle. Right, it's a it's a participial sandwich with the bread here, the bread here, and then we stick the direct object in the middle. And every one bearing fruit, he prunes it. That is again, the father prunes it so that eh, 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 it might bear more fruit. Of course, this verb is going to be subjunctive. We see that lengthened vowel there at the end. This is just a present active subjunctive, third person singular so that it, that is, so that the branch bears more fruit. I just want you to note, and this is noted in some commentaries, the word play here, right? To ire and to kath ire, right? To, as one person has suggested, to cut off or to cut clean, to prune. The second word, this is a hopox, a hopox, a one-time occurrence, in the Greek New Testament, this is the only place this verb occurs in the Greek New Testament, kathairo, to prune. It can mean in some other contexts outside the Greek New Testament, it can also mean cleanse or to clean, but it is used in relation to plants in the sense of pruning them.